Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am Gautami from Freshers Camp. Hope you all are doing great. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, then please do so and hit the bell button to get the latest updates. Today, I am going to give you some tips about online interviews. As we all know that we are having a very tiresome situation during this COVID-19 because most of the works have to be done online. And so, most of the interviews are going on or meetings are going on online. So here are some tips for you so that you can have a successful online interview. So, tip number one, try to stay at the center of the screen. Do not try to, you know, this is a must. You should always stay at the center of the screen when an online meeting is going on. Next, the camera should be at your eye level and it should be at a distance of one arm from yourself. Next, light should be in front of you at the back of the camera or the back of the desktop wherever you are sitting for the meeting. The light should be in front of you and not at the back of you. Because if the light is at the back of you, then your face will appear shadowed and if the camera is in front of you, the light will directly fall on your face. Thus, the ones in the meeting will be able to see you clearly. Next, if you are on phone, then put it in landscape mode and not in portrait mode. Next one is also very important. Try to keep a clean, clear background. A white background is mostly preferred, but if you don't get a white background, try to keep a clean wall behind you with minimalistic design or no design at all. For the background, you can also use a virtual background. That should also be as clean and as clear as possible and preferably a lighter color. Also, make sure that no one moves behind you, keeps moving behind you. When you are sitting for the meeting and you did not get a wall behind you, then make sure wherever you are sitting, there should not be any movement at the background. No one should cross from one side to the other, move across the screen behind you. Because that causes a lot of distraction. Also, you should adjust yourself so that you can keep calm and sit up straight. Adjust yourself so that you can sit in front of the camera so that you don't have to stand for a long time and get tired and then fidget around you in your position. Always try to keep your camera on during any meeting because keeping the camera off seems a bit rude. Also, keep your microphone turned off and turn it on only when you are asked to speak or you have something to speak. Next, always try to join the meeting 5 minutes before the scheduled time. Do not ever be late and in those five minutes that you get before the meeting, try to check your battery, your speaker, your microphone, your camera and everything so that you do not face a technical error or a technical issue during the meeting. When you are speaking on the mic, make sure that you do not shout or you do not get so close to the screen to speak clearly so that you are not visible. Try to stay in one place and speak in a normal tone and in an even tone so that everyone can listen to you clearly. Now, in most of the online meeting platforms, we are already logged in. So, when we join, automatically our name is displayed and you do not need to put it in there. But in some places, in some platforms, it so happens that you have to put in a name for yourself or else you will appear as a guest or as a number. And that is very inappropriate for a formal meeting because whoever is in the meeting should be known by their own name. So make sure that before you enter the meeting, you should put in your name and then go on for the meeting. Next, do not eat anything during a meeting because that is very, very inappropriate. However, you're allowed to sip a cup of coffee or tea when you're in the meeting only if you're not a student and you're not attending a class. Next. You need to dress appropriately from top to bottom because who knows, you may need to stand up. Next, always keep a pen and a paper ready with you because you might need to make a note of something or when you are allowed to speak or when you are supposed to speak, you may need to have some points jotted down by yourself so that you don't forget them. It sometimes happens that we have joined in a meeting we are in the meeting, present in the meeting and at the same time we are doing something else. I mean, we are multitasking. But you should never do that. 
you should always stay focused on what is happening on the meeting and avoid multitasking. Next, do not speak when someone else is speaking because both the voice get uh, overlapped by one another and no one can hear anything clearly. So let the other person finish and then you can speak. Same happens for yourself when you are speaking, no one else should speak. Next, if you are about to present something, anything at all, a PowerPoint presentation or a video or you are about to give a lecture, anything, make sure that you prepare for it beforehand because you do not know what technical error is going to arise when. So make sure that you always practice before presenting. Next, do not forget to keep an eye on the chat box because you may miss an important thing that is also going on in the chat box. Next, when you are leaving the meeting, let the other people know that yes, I am done. Thank you everyone. I am I'm about to leave the meeting because that is a very good practice. Like your meeting is going on and your part of the work is done and you left suddenly without telling anyone and someone else notices it after a long time that doesn't seem very nice so thanking everyone before leaving the meeting is a good practice and at the end but the most important be yourself and keep smiling that's all for today hope you like this video and if you do so then please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe see you in the next video thank you for watching